Hello everybody, welcome back to Sandals Workshop. You know what today is. Today is the day we start on El Caballero. Guys, I am so excited about getting back on this thing. Just because the motor is about to get built for it. I am, and I want to show you something. It, I'm stammering, I am so excited about this. Brian has got an old oven that he is going to bring into the shop. We are going to start powder coating some of our own small pieces. I got this. I got five pounds of powder coat paint. And he's going to bring the oven. We're going to wire it up over here against the wall. I want to get all the 53 parts out. We're going to put it right there against the wall. And we are going to start baking our own powder coated parts that we can fit in that oven. That is so exciting. I can't wait to do that. But we're going to get this motor out. We're going to get the front clip off because I have to clean up the frame rails. I got to clean up the firewall. I have to get all the small things painted and get this all ready to set that motor and transmission in. Now then, this is not going to be a show show car, but it is going to be a show quality car. I know that don't make no sense, but I am going to try to detail everything the best I can. And now then, I have all got this. This is a 700 R4 transmission that I have got to get to the shop and get rebuilt. I have never built a transmission before. I've, you know, worked on them. I've done valve bodies work and stuff, but I've never gotten into the internals of one. So, I'm going to let a professional do this one. <laughs> and someday I may try to tackle it on my own. Who that piece right there is completely broke. Need a new one of them. But they're supposed to build it to handle up to 500 horsepower, which would be about perfect because my engine is going to be putting out 450 to 500 horse. And then we're going to have the 700 R4 transmission. The, gear, the gearing in the rear end on this thing is way high. I think it's like a 239. It's, it's a very high geared rear end. So I'm going to, and it's, it's, not, it's a single track, not a posi. So I'm probably going to get me a spool to put in it. Now I'm thinking about 342 rear gears. That way it'll have a good takeoff, but it will also go down the interstate with absolutely no problem, low RPM, get, get better fuel mileage. But I have got new fenders for this. This one here on the outside looks good. On the inside lip, you can't see it right now, but around the inside here, it is rusted out. I'm sticking my finger in a hole right there. So the fenders I found are perfect. The only problem is they're off of an earlier year model, so they don't have the side lights. So I'm thinking about cutting out the side lights and putting them down here on the others. It'll be about the same as the lights on the back, except they'll be up here on the front. And that way, I, I, I don't know why the designers did that. They have one up high low, up front, one low on the back. So that'll kind of be something unique on the car. Um, going to have to repair this. This here busted out again. If you remember back when I first did this car, when it was Randy's, I didn't have any actual fiberglass to put on this. So now I do. I'm going, while all this is off, I'm going to repair it and get it back like it's supposed to be. The old bottles. I'm going to throw away. I'm going to go with aluminum cans 
and with it being a 350 the vacuum canister is not going to be absolutely necessary so probably what I'm going to do is do away with this since I'm doing away with most of the vacuums anyway and I'm going to mount my cans both right in this area oh lots to do lots to do so I want to quit talking and I'm going to get busy Okay, I don't think I have showed y'all the underside of El Caballero, but I want you to look at something. I want you to look at the meat on these brake pads. Now, or brake shoes, I guess I would rather say. This thing has 79,000 original miles. And looking up under here, I'm going to have to say that is just pretty darn accurate. I mean, look at the underside of our body. 
no rust whatsoever. I mean, get over that frame rail. That's the inside of the quarter. Looking along the pans. I mean, this thing, for the year model and everything it is, it is just absolutely spotless. I mean, you've got grease and everything else, but I mean, there is no, no pan rust. Well, I can get under here, wipe this thing down, and just come in and spray it. And it would be good to go. I've got to get the transmission out and the engine. Get the old exhaust out. You can see where I welded in the, the things for the uh, other seat. But yeah, this thing is, this is remarkable. I mean, look at the fender wells. No rust whatsoever. Oh, I'm excited. Alrighty, people. I have got the drive line out. Got the exhaust out. And believe it or not, the nuts come off of the exhaust studs. Let me get you blown up in there. Beautifully. Now then, the inside of this transmission, you can see how it's looking pink in that filter. It's a little dirty, but it is not bad at all. Oil looked really good. But I want to show you this. This, is, this just blew my mind. Yes, it's the metric 200 transmission, but look at that pan. That don't look far off from brand new. <laughs> and when I cleaned it up, it had a little bit of shavings in there, but not much. I want to run and get a filter, put it back on there. And that way, whenever I do whatever I do with it, it's already done, ready to go. Alrighty, everybody. As you can see, we pushed it out of the shop. Why so are we out of the shop and sitting out here now? So I can get some, uh, get some of that super clean, spray it all down, clean up these frame rails, which I mean, honestly, I mean, the greasy spots, or where I sprayed lube to get the uh, motor mount bolts out. That's where I leaked the uh, tran or, uh, power steering fluid, getting the power steering pump off. Those are clean frame rails. 
So what I want to do is I want to get this all cleaned up. And once I get it cleaned up, I can paint it. Paint it, detail it out before I stick my engine in. That way, once we get that engine in, it don't come back out. But I imagine with the uh, the thumbnail, you thought it was a uh, thought it was over for the old Caballero. Nope, nope, nope. It's a going. It's a going strong. Within the month, Brian's going to be here working on that motor, and we are going to get it done. Get that motor done. Get it in here. Serpentine belt system. Thinking about finally getting another radiator for this. Getting a four core this time. That way, I've got a lot of a lot of coolant for uh, road trips. But we got this 305 motor that I pulled out. Hmm. This car had 79,000 original miles. And I want you to look at this thing. We got some valve cover leakage. Transmission is clean. And I drove it into the shop. I mean, it didn't drive well, but I drove it in the shop. So, hmm. What could I use this 305 for? We'll find out soon on Santa's Workshop. <laughs>